Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix hyping issues and online lag for the game Rainbow Six Extraction. A lot of users were experiencing these problems in the early beta stage of the game, and I'm pretty sure everyone will keep experiencing these problems until the servers of the game are available for all the regions. So what you have to do is you just have to follow each and every step shown in this video very carefully, and I'm pretty sure your problem will be fixed. But if anyhow this problem still persists, you can write in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. Also, if you're on my channel for the first time, I want you all to know that I post regular gaming content and recently my channel completed 14k subscribers, which means a lot to me. So thank you for that. And now let's get started without any further ado. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues, but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated, so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WD Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you are still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. This step is a really important step and I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any further steps. So in this step we'll be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. And clean booting is different from restarting your PC. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC then I've already made a guide on how to do so. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description of this one and it is a really quick guide of 4 minutes. So just watch that video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the further steps. This step is a really useful step and it has helped many users in fixing this problem. So first of all what you have to do is, you just have to go to your command prompt. So just search for CMD on your start menu and go to command prompt. In command prompt, search for ping, type ping 1.1.1.1 and once you have done that, press enter. So it will take some time, it will just analyze the ping at 1.1.1.1 and as you can see, average ping is 11ms. Now what you have to do is you have to type ping 8.8.8.8 and press enter. And it will again calculate the average ping, so let's wait for it. and request timeout and here it is. The average ping here is 17 ms. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between this DNS server and this DNS server. 11 ms is way better than 17 ms. So what you have to do is you just have to see which one is better for you and just remember that DNS. And now go to your network connections. So search for view network connections. So just go to view network connections here as you can see. And here you have to go to your current network to which you are connected right now. So I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Just double click on your Wi-Fi if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or you can just select your Ethernet if you're connected to your Ethernet and go to your properties. In properties, you have to select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on OK. Oh, click on properties, not click on OK, click on properties. And in properties, by default, it is on obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to select use the following DNS server address and in preferred DNS server, you have to enter the DNS which was better for you. So in my case 1.1.1.1 was better for me. So I'll press 1.1.1.1 and if 1.1.1 was better for you too, so you have to do the same 1.0.0.1. So that's it for this step. But just in case 8.8.8 was better for you, then you just have to change it to 8.8.8.8 and alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK. Once you have done that, that's it for this step. It will be really helpful and it has fixed this problem for many users. Now let's proceed to the next step. This step is again a really important one and this step will be forwarding ports. So if you don't know how to forward ports, all you have to do is just go to your web browser and search for Rainbow Six Extraction Ports. As you can see, there's a link from portforward.com. So just click on it, forward ports on your router for Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction. Once you click on it, you'll be redirected to this page. In this page, you can see TCP and UDP ports for Rainbow Six Extraction's PC version. So you have to first copy TCP ports. So just copy all the ports from here. And once you have copied them, in your start menu, search for Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. So just click on it. It will load in a minute here. So as you can see, in Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security, you have to go to Inbound Rules. And in inbound rules, you have to click on new rule and here you have to select port because we are forwarding ports. Click on next. 
select TCP because we have just copied the TCP ports. And if you don't want to visit this website to copy TCP and UDP ports, I'll provide both of these ports TCP and UDP in the description of this video and you can just copy it from there. So once you've copied the TCP ports, select TCP here and in specific local ports, paste all the ports from the description of this video. Now click on next, allow the connection, click on next again, domain private public select everything, click on next and here give it the name rainbow six extraction and that's it. Click on finish and now copy UDP ports from the description of this video and again go to windows defender firewall with advanced security, inbound rules, then create a new rule, select port but this time instead of TCP port we have to select UDP port because we have just copied the UDP ports. Paste them here, click on next, allow the connection, click on next, domain private public, click on next and again give it the same name, rainbow six extraction. So that's it. That's it for this step. This step will surely help you. But if you're still facing this problem, then you can proceed to the next step. Proceed to the next step. In this step, we'll be flushing our DNS. So this step also seemed to fix this problem for many users. So, and to perform this step, you just have to go to your CMD again, that is command prompt. And once you'll open it, you just have to type IP config space, then give a slash backslash and flush DNS. I'm just confused, is, is it a backslash or forward slash? I'm just confused. So whichever it is, IP config space slash and then flush DNS. And once you've typed it, press enter. And it will see, you will see on your screen, Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And that's it for this step. It is that simple. Try running your game and most probably you will see a difference if you are facing high ping, then it will also help in that case. And if you're facing any server error, it might fix that problem too. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, then please leave a like on this video. If you have any doubt, write in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.